What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Going over some potential details that were shared by Clips Comprehend over on Twitter. And talking about a new character. A chase scene. And also going over this tweet from Viewer Anon. And sharing my thoughts on that too. So just to kick it off with this new character there is a character named allison siemens or ali siemens now this is apparently devin nicolda's character and this character is a friend with mindy chad tara and carly she doesn't like ethan who we know is going to be betrayed by jack champion apparently but she tolerates him since mindy and tara think he's a good guy ali comes from money and is rude to people who have fallen on hard times and finds them annoying and bothersome now of course this sounds like a very dislikable character uh, and the only way of course that this character could be even more dislikable is or unlikable is if Devin Nakoda is give, is giving that great of a performance in the role that just makes you hate this character because this character sounds like a pretty big problem to me someone who is definitely going to die that's like a red flag instantly when your character description reads like that so we know that Devin Nakoda is of course one of the cast members we don't know too much about the movie still like I've been saying before this isn't necessarily completely true because some people believe clips some people do not some people are picking and choosing what they do and don't want to believe they think this person is lying about this but telling the truth about that which in all honesty again it's up to you if you want to decide if you believe the individual or not this is just nice stuff to talk about and speculate on but that apparently is who Devin Nakota is playing in the movie she's playing a character named Ali Siemens and she sounds like she's a pretty rude individual who will probably be very satisfying to watch die at the hands of Ghostface now viewer not viewer not just before I get to that clips also was asked about if we could expect any chase scenes in the movie they replied yes saying that their favorite is one that includes a fire escape an extremely grimy alley and so much goes on during this and they said I don't know how long it will be in the final cut and I'm leaving a lot out but it feels like it will never stop it's war and the end result is shocking so a chase scene that feels like it will never end when I'm thinking of that that reminds me of like Helen Shivers from I Know What You Did Last Summer which is a top tier chase scene now some people of course they'll say they don't understand the hype around it but it really just comes down to I think the cherry on top with that chase scene besides Sarah Michelle Gellar just being an amazing actress was that little shimmer of hope and that light at the end of the tunnel that she had in front of her and she never reached it it's something that just sticks with you when you see how close that character was to living and she just didn't make it in time because she was distracted by something you know people make an argument for saying that do the way dewey died in scream 5 was pretty stupid i mean i could make the same argument for how helen died in and i know what you did last summer but still that's a very very fun and iconic chase scene so when i hear words like this to describe a chase sequence in scream 6 that makes me pretty excited to think about something that's never ending something that has you on the edge something that has you just in suspense and just leaving you breathless and maybe this is regarding a very lovable character that just has you so wound up in the events that are unfolding that by the time it's all said and done the results of it are shocking because they either i would assume make it out alive or it's just shocking because of how they ultimately end up dying after it was so evident to you that they might have a chance to live something that could indeed be a callback or not to how helen shivers went out and i know what you did last summer if the movie were to play out like that and that's of course again assuming this individual is telling the truth because the other thing i want to talk about now is something that viewer anon tweeted out that seems to have a lot of people just up in arms about they were asked about some stuff about scream six and they said that they can't really share anything because they need to wait for them to finish a cut so some details that were told can be confirmed and locked in but they did say you can expect it to kill off more survivors from earlier movies than any other scream sequel now i will say that that's in line with what i've been told too this isn't something that's hard to beat though i think the most survivors you've had die in any scream movie is coming from scream 5. scream 2 had randy uh scream 3 had cotton scream for no one really yeah no one because Kincaid didn't come back and he was just Gail Sidney and Dewey scream five had Dewey and Judy die so in six they'd have to have three or more so who are these people and then clips actually chimed in saying if you were expecting it to play it safe 
then don't expect that. Don't go, in, go into this movie expecting to play it safe. Me personally, that makes me very excited. I'm already pretty worrisome about the characters going into Scream 6, something that I enjoy feeling because it makes me excited to see what I'm right about, what I'm wrong about, what information that's out there is true, what information out there is false. All that will not be answered until we go see the movie because who I'm thinking of being potentially getting killed off you have two people currently right now that are representing the Meeks legacy. You probably only need one. They've already done some stuff that will kind of give Chad the, the Dewey aspect of it. So you have Sam and Tara and then they need their Dewey. Well, they don't need it, but let's say that's the formula they're following. Mindy probably is going to bite the dust in Scream 6. Uh, you have Gail Weathers. Gail Weathers, I know people are like, oh, she doesn't need to die because she's like one of the last legacy characters out there out of Sydney Prescott. It's not necessarily a matter of really any of the legacy stars needing to die as much as at this point it's like, why are you doing it? What is the purpose for it? What does their death do to the story? What is the context here? Is their death something that pushes the needle forward or is it something that just kind of happened and does nothing for the overall story? I don't think any of these legacy stars so far how the how they've been killed might not be to your liking but their deaths at the end have not been meaningless dewey did not die for no reason and if gail dies i don't believe gail will die for no reason i just don't see it happening i see it being something that's probably even more beautiful to see on screen compared to dewey riley uh kirby reed is of course someone who we have to consider might die in scream six so many people are up in arms about that potentially happening because kirby is a character who we waited so long to see Honestly, to the God honest truth is, had Scream 4 and Scream 5 and Scream 6 not have been so spaced out apart, and had they shot Scream 4 in a way in which included Kirby's survival, you wouldn't have that, uh, that up and down of did she or didn't she for the past 10 years, thus setting you up for a potential disappointment if she bites the dust in Scream 6. It's all about the context and why these characters are dying, not necessarily they died so i don't like the movie that's not really how that works and that's why a lot of people probably shouldn't be reviewing movies anyway if you're going to review it based off of them killing people you do or don't like but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video